afternoon to all of you joining us from all parts of the world. And welcome to the IASA Regional Conferences. quickly. The forestry industry in South Africa is very fragmented and because of our systems approach I was given the mandate to rewrite the R&D strategy for forestry South Africa. Agriculture is absolutely dependent on the environment. For example in the United States the inventory of arable land has actually declined by about 10 percent over the last 50 years owing to arable land moving to other uses. In the big data world, the search of causality will have to be abandoned in favor of the search for correlations. In other words, the data processing in order to answer the question why became replaced by the search of the answer to the question what is it. This is still is one of the greatest challenge in many countries especially in Asia and other South America, many countries, as a social equity, as a human right, is, is our human right to have a safe housing, to solve this issue, to provide an implemental and doable solution for zero housing in its system thinking and nexus approach. So what we tried to do was uh, we tried to understand what are the barriers to uh, transforming or making a transition to the um, uh, renewable energy in Bangladesh. And we identified the hierarchy of the barriers which needs to be overcome. Ecological restoration has been growing a bit uh, in the world and it's poised now to, to become one of the leading uh, driving forces of change in, in environment and in, in, in people's uh, lives. This year, uh, in March, the United Nations General Assembly approved that the next decade, starting now, will be the United Nations decade on ecological restoration. COVID demonstrates this dramatically. Clearly, global cooperation on COVID is going to terminate the pandemic far quicker and more effectively than nationalistic, individualistic actions. So in 2019, the General Assembly of UNESCO actually mandated um, the organization to develop an international standard setting instrument on open science in the form of a recommendation on open science. These are the cornerstones of systems and operations research we're looking at systems, typically complex ones. We seek to understand them better by building models with the aim of supporting decisions. The World of Free Energy Nexus is a solution to achieve SDGs at the regional and global level in, and in middle latitude region, the responsible consumption and production of food, water, bioenergy on land and terrestrial ecosystem could help combat climate change in cities and communities through infrastructure and institution. When we want to use models to support decisions and decision makers, those models have to be agile. Of course, they have to be reliable and relevant. Yeah, we can develop uh, methodology, uh, research methodology, but the uh, talks or feedbacks or with policymakers, other stakeholders are very important. The United Nations Office for Disaster Risk Reduction claims that the uh, disaster risk reduction requires a systematic and a multifaceted and a proactive approach to identify, assess, and uh, develop plans to reduce uh, disaster risk. And so this actually echoes the uh, ideas of the systems analysis, which requires breaking problems down into their component parts and formulating our conceptual uh, definition and solutions.
the whole purpose of this project was about developing the tools and the capacities, not prescribed solutions, even though the title suggests that, but no, the focus was actually in developing these tools and these capacities. But I'm going to focus on the, on the work that has been done at the regional level and specifically in the, in the SMBC. In particular, with respect to the Amazon, similar, analogous to the urgency of changing the energy sector. It's as urgent, let's say 1.5 degrees, we have only 12, 13, 15 years. Uh, for the Amazon, it's about the same. I do share this optimism and uh, should be so ambitious to affirm that future achievements of systems analysis in complex problems solving will depend on its convergence with two intensively developed areas, big data and artificial intelligence. the way that we were taught in this training, we were taught to really, really think outside the box. And then, most importantly, what does it then mean when you are done? What impact will you have when you are done? So it really had a major influence in how that, in the way that we think. I'm presenting my master's project, which is based on um, um, water catchment, um, water resource um, protection, water catchments in South Africa. Hi everybody, uh, today I'm going to share some results from the Sustainable Alternative Futures for India model, which is a system dynamics based decision support system that looks at the resource and emissions implications of meeting developmental goals alongside growing aspirations in India. Hello everyone, my name is uh, Jin Sheng Li. I'm a PhD student in Peking University. My research is effects of environmental protecting policies. Uh, Trent Eastport in the Yantze River Basin. 